Now I lay each Molotov down. Seven Molotov cocktails on eight pillows. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. We are in Riverside currently. Took me long enough to get here, so I think uh, we're going to be staying here for just a little while. See what the town has to offer. That kind of stuff. But first I gotta fix this fucking burn on my leg. Which I don't know how long that's gonna take to heal, but... It ain't as quick as the uh, little scratches that I had before. I'll also need to keep an eye out for, um... A new weapon. A baseball bat, preferably. But we can make do with any blunt weapon. So, we've, uh, basically... Sort of decided on the hotel as, uh, a makeshift base for now probably do a little bit of work to it at some point, but um, that is provided that I don't get lost, because I'm, I'm pretty good at getting lost in, in new towns, so I gotta go and uh, explore just a little bit, familiarize myself with these surroundings. So there's definitely some zombies in here. They broke that their uh, door off the hinges. Unfortunately, there are no door hinges, hinges left on the ground. But whatever. What is this, like a post office or something? Probably. I don't know. How do we get back there? I can't really see anything to loot except this trash can. Which, uh, I guess if we are going to stay here, I should get some, um, garbage bags and shit going. We can make rain collectors. Wow, there's a lot of stuff back here. And it is looking like a post office. Lots of envelopes, journals, rubber bands, letters... Postage stamps. Mm, nothing that I can see myself needing in the immediate future. But good to know it's here, I suppose. Just uh, do a little more combing. See if I can find something something of use. Any in these drawers? Eraser, newspaper. No. I don't know why this is here. Who kept all these things? Should just uh, Should just burn it. That's my solution for when, when I don't need something. Just burn it. We probably won't need it later, right? Lots of rotten food in this here fridge. But uh, I should probably eat something just so I can heal a little bit faster. Jar of pickled garlic. Mmm, that sounds delicious. But I'll just stick with the beef jerky for now. I think I also have an MRE. Yeah, I do. So I can eat that up. Mmm, we'll, we'll just eat a little bit more. Just a little nibble. There's uh, an energy bar in my MRE. There's also a cigarette, but I'm saving the cigarette for dessert. <laughs> um, nothing in here. I don't think there's going to be shit in this building. I don't even know why I keep looking through all the things. These look like some uh, some new tables, maybe. Some dry erase boards. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get the ability to write on them at some point. Wouldn't that be spiffy? Um, Farmer's Almanac, don't need that, nope, 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 nope and a half, oh, there's a Rubik's Cube, that could be cool, I also, uh, picked up a few guests for the tea party, but it's gonna be quite a, way, a while until we make our ways back, back home, but I wouldn't have it any other way, to be quite honest, here's, uh, some cubicles of some sort, People were doing work here at one point, and then they became zombies. And then maybe I met them on the street. I was like, hey, Tim, and then I bashed his brain in. That's how it goes. Big empty room. What the fuck? This is the corner office. That used to be Milton's office, and then he got fired. We were very disappointed in him and his work performance. Let's see. Hubcap, wood crate. I guess the wood crate might be useful for uh, knocking up some... Some planks, protecting my little whatnots. I've got so many boxes of nails, I don't think I should really even bother uh, collecting it, but I don't see myself coming back to this place anytime soon. So maybe it is a good idea to just uh, root around, make sure I get all the, the necessary things from here. All the accoutrement, as it were, if you're French. But you're probably not. Most of my... Views are coming from the U.S. 50% as a matter of fact. And then 50% from everywhere else in the world. So thank you U.S. and thank you everywhere else in the world. Alright. I'll just grab those wood crates. Why not? 
here's another uh, another set of cubicles where somebody slaved away their life for many years before they became a zombie. And see, they didn't even have time to, to spend with their kids. They was trying to spend time with their kids, but that didn't happen. Because they spent all their time at work trying to get ahead in life. And it didn't even matter, because they got turned into a fucking zombie anyways. Oh, look at this. Got some uh, empty gas, got a little bit of water. You can get around the water cooler, tell some secrets about the boss's wife or whatever. Remember at the Christmas party, she got all drunk. She was like climbing all over the the mailroom boy or whatever. That was funny, right? And then the boss was like pretending he didn't see it, but everybody saw that shit. Oh my god. Scandalous. Alright, this is the last room. There's absolutely nothing in here. I've wasted everyone's time. I, I apologize quite profusely. Wasted my time, wasted your time. I knew even on floor one there was nothing in here, but okay. Goodbye, post office. I'll see you in hell. I don't want to uh, run too deep into the woods or any of that shit. But there's probably something interesting. Oh, look at this. It's like a, a mall or something. They got a fucking patio. Look at that. They're so fancy. All the patios in this town. This town is high class. I just might stay here. Although it is fucking set really out of the way. Uh-oh. There's a zombie lady over there. I don't want her to break the, the doors. The nice new window door wall thing that's on the building. You know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, look at that shotgun. That's an awesome shotgun. I'm going to take this. She's also got a little bit of money. Mm-hmm. And I could fit all those, uh, all those shells as well. Sweet. I'm glad I uh, took took a moment to do that. And then I'm assuming they have some alcohols, but I don't see uh, a way to get back. How do I get back there? Is there just like a little entryway for the, the servers and whatnot? Yeah, there it is. Of course. It was just well hidden. A little bit of Chardonnay. Ooh, fancy. Some Sodi Pop. Whiskey bottles, we can make a couple Molotovs if we were so inclined, and uh, I am. So I'll load these up. Energy drinks, mmm, don't necessarily need it. We're just gonna keep these Molotovs on hand just in case everything goes terrible. We got enough to make five. Wow, that's a lot. And uh, I'm gonna take this baseball bat and swap it out because this one's garbage. Put the garbage one on the shelf. There we go. Easily done. Easy day. There's another whiskey bottle too. I'm getting pretty fucking loaded up with these things. I better carry them with me. And it is not worth the trip to just uh, grab a few things and run back. I want to make this trip count. You know what I mean? Oh, and then they have like an upstairs dining area. Oh wow, that scared me. That loud sound was uh, not necessary. Thank you very much, game. Oh, that's the lady with dentures. See what happens? See what happens, everyone? Gotta be careful. Out here in these days and times, with all these cinnamon donuts sitting around. And uh, I can't even brush my teeth, so I'll probably have dentures too at some point. I mean, I could get toothpaste and toothbrush, but there's no uh, no programming that allows little Dayton to brush his teeth, which is just completely sad, completely terrible. It's it's not gone the way I hoped at all. We got here some tea bags, cereal, a dead rat. Mmm, that's good eating. Ketchup, vinegar, oh there's another whiskey bottle. He takes a whiskey drink, he takes a vodka drink, he takes a whiskey 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 drink. He takes a whiskey drink. <laughs> he takes a, whiskey drink. a lot of them. At the same time, he throws up in a planter. He falls over, trying to walk back home. Everybody says, Dayton, you might have a problem. He takes another whiskey drink. <laughs> um, okay. I guess there's just a kitchen up here. Some bathrooms over there. Pass. Pass. 
It's a, a rather fancy restaurant. This is a fancy restaurant. But I don't really want to bother with that. It is pretty cool that we're uh, seeing some new tiles, though. They're concentrating a lot on glass, as I can see from the the views in Riverside. Get a little uh, gazebo, put some glass in it. Get a restaurant, put some glass in it. Get a, a motel, put a pool in it. Hell yeah. That's why I'm staying at the hotel. I dig that pool, baby. So I'm kind of trying to remember the layout of all these uh, businesses. Oh, look, an ice cream shop. Is this Churns or R Us? Churns R Us. It's not a very good business name. Because it implies, like, a churning stomach, you know? Which is what happens when you're about to puke. And, uh, ice cream generally doesn't want to make you puke. Unless you're lactose intolerant. But even then, I think it comes out the other way. You're gonna have, like, really bad shits. You know how that goes? I hope not. But you probably do. That's just life. You know? Sometimes you have a bad shit. I, I don't know what you want from me. I can't stop it for you. You gotta eat more fiber. Or something. Alright, I'm gonna swap out this skirt. Here you go, girly. You can have this skirt. I'm gonna wear your skirt because it's not as dirty. Dayton, why are you wearing a skirt? It makes me feel pretty. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, it looks like pants. I think it would be way funnier if it uh, was like uh, an actual skirt. And look at all this rotten ice cream. Dude, why would you just leave the fucking ice cream out? Ah, uh, I guess because they didn't know the, the zombie infection was taking hold. And I remember- oh shit. <laughs> I remember it used to be you could, uh, just drink the ice cream soup. It was no problem if you left the ice cream out, but now it seems that not only does it melt, but it has a rotting mechanic to it. So that makes me a little bit sad. Oh well. That's how life goes. There's so many destroyed ice creams. Is there a purpose to them once they're- once they're disgusting? Or is, that's just it? I guess that's just it. Just like all these rotten fruits. You can't make them into a, a delicious mash, you know? Pour some alcohol on the fruits, and then all the fruits absorb the alcohol, and then you like, you made jungle juice. That's pretty good, huh? And then you like, don't have to drink any alcohol, you just sit down and eat an apple that's already filled with alcohol, and then you drink a shit. Just saving a step, or something. And then you probably get hydrated or vitamins or something as well, too, also. As if you need additional reasons to, to get drunk. <laughs> just because just it's fun. We don't even need vitamins, it's just fun. What is this over here? It says, Palm Travel. An Enigma... Enigma Ball? Enigma Bowls? The fuck is an Enigma Bowl? Well, I guess that's a pretty fitting name, isn't it? Because to me, it is an Enigma. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Is it like a scorpion bowl? Which I've also only uh, heard of in films or media. Scorpion bowls are apparently like this uh, Chinese soup or something, and then you get drunk if you eat it. I don't know. I don't know if that actually exists or if it's just uh, something something from popular media semi-popular media <laughs> the media that I'm thinking of when I say that is eight crazy oh. nights which if you've seen that movie mm, maybe don't see that movie maybe we all wish we could forget about that movie nice try Adam Sandler trying to make a, a holiday film for the Jewish kids but I think it made all the Jewish kids cry <laughs> made me cry this is this is their representation god damn it how? How even in the world? Where in the world is the good Jewish holiday movie? Like, they have a lot of representation in Hollywood. You'd think they'd be able to, to do something with that shit, but nope. Nope, stuck with shit for years and years. I guess they don't really care. They don't really care, or, or people would try harder to, to make one. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. There's a couple more wooden crates here. I'm gonna swoop these up. Swoop them up. 
aluminum bag. Mm. Lots of uh, seeds and things like that. Bottle of lime juice. Ooh, shit. We could get crazy. Although I got a sack full of whiskey. Whiskey and lime juice, that's, that's not good. Don't do it. It's for tequila only. Write this down, kids. Oh, Jesus fucking... Wow. You just, you just got a craving for an Enigma Bowl at the same time I was leaving? Isn't that fortuitous? I can't open these canned beans, so I'll just, uh, I'll just take them. Oh, wait. I can't carry them. God damn it. Finish off this MRE. Go ahead. That's good for ya. Excellent. Now I'll be healing just a little faster. Enigma... I really want to cut down the tree so I can see what the fucking sign says. This is the travel agency, which has a, a bunch of cooking books. Skill books. I don't need any of this. Why does the travel agency have all of this stuff? They don't make no sense. Advanced metalwork? I should learn something about metalwork. Meh. Meh. What do I know about metal? You can combine metals by welding them. And that's about it. Is this hair genesis? Hair genesis. The genesis of hair. Oh. I guess this is the travel agency. What the fuck was that? Enigma books. Oh, not bowls. I'm stupid. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm dumb. Just uh, in case you didn't realize that quite yet, I'll go ahead and spoil it for you. I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> Anybody in the bathroom? Nope. I see a delicious kitchen behind me. Oh, oh. Occupado. Sorry this happened to you. Just trying to take a piss in the sink like a normal person. I come over and beat the shit out of you. Well, that's how it goes around here. These days and times, let me tell you. Hmm. Lots of, uh, preserved items. Bell peppers, onions, radish. Oh, what I wouldn't get for some kimchi. Oh, you see jars and jars of that kimchi before the, the world went under. Before it all went to shit. Now I just gotta make my own kimchi. Let's check out Hair Genesis. I'm sure it's not gonna be anything good. And then, uh, there's a place called Saucy over there, which I think that would be a restaurant, but it, uh, it looks like they got, like, you know those mannequins? That's what they're called. Mannequins in the window. So it's probably, like, a saucy dress that you could put on and impress your husband, you know? Did your husband live through the Zombocalypse? I hope he did. My, my best well wishes. This is all a bunch of bullshit. Combs, hairspray. What do I need this for? I mean, you can make a bomb with hairspray, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'm not able to. I should have taken the engineer uh, job instead of electrician. But oh well, hindsight's twenty twenty. We're gonna we're gonna get through this shit regardless. Oh, I think I put these nails in the wrong bag. There we go. That's better. There's another wooden crate. I'm gonna snatch it up. I snatch it up, why not? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some more nails. This will be good. This will help me get off the ground with my defensive fortifications. Here's a bathroom. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's just rain. Everybody calm down, it's just rain. I found these painkillers in the trash, so of course I will eat them. <laughs> That's normal. It's nice and normal, isn't it? Alright. I didn't miss anything on that shelf. And if I did, then fuck it. Oh, here's like a, a back entrance way or something. And the door's been broken, so we need to be careful. The zombie's lurking. Hey, lady. Wait your turn for the dressing room. <laughs> Just kidding. You're dead. Just kidding. Um, I need a bunch of Molotovs. How many socks do I need to get to make all the Molotovs that I want? Seven. Well, there's six. Just one more. 
I could rip up uh, a sweater or something and use the, the ripped tissues, but I really like the thought of uh, using a sock. Stuffing a sock inside a whiskey bottle and lighting it on fire. That's how we do it around here. Am I wearing my rain poncho? I guess I am. No, it's the sweater. Okay. Better not stand in the rain any longer than I need to then. Get the fuck down. Please be dead now. Oh wow, this is pretty cool. They've got like a sloped roof out front. That's rather nice. Brand new to the tile sets. And uh, this restaurant reminds me of my old base. Part of me says to just set up here, but how can you say no to the fucking pool? Are you kidding me? I want a pool. I've always wanted a pool forever. My aunt used to have a pool, and I was so super jelly. I'd go over there all the time. Just hop in the pool. Hop in the pool. And I don't think they ever used the pool except for when I came over. But uh, isn't that how pools work? You know? Once you get one, you're just like, eh, fuck it. We got a pool. I don't really even use it, though. That's a shame. Shame on you people. You pool people. You cool people. Eat some donuts for dinner. 7 p.m. nah. Hmm. Alright. I guess we could head back. This is quite a nice little place. Ah, but I shan't spend too much more time here. I must go back to my motel room with my mini bar. Everybody likes a mini bar, don't they? Mmm, yes, quite. Oh, and here's uh, where they post the notices. We're hiring. Oh, probably shouldn't put that in a, a room of the establishment that you're hiring in. I mean, you can put it in a room of the establishment you're hiring in, but probably put it in like a front room that's more visible to the public, right? Am I, am I wrong in thinking that? Nobody's gonna call the number if you if you post it in here. All right, so we're back. We're back, kinda. Um, I'm gonna break up some of these planks, wood crates, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, I did grab a plank. There it is. And we'll do some nailing, nailing up. Pick a room, any room. Which is my favorite. I don't really know. There's just so many. I like the room I slept in last night, but it smelled kind of mildewy. This room has no uh, window to it. Oh, I could sleep in this room. Why, does the, why is there fucking two beds? One of the beds is locked away in the corner for your, like, weird nephew who you don't trust to sleep around you because that one time when he was eight years old, he was standing over you with a butcher knife while you slept. I mean, I get that. I totally get that, dude. Happens all the time. Oh my god, fucking shit. Should concentrate on the uh, zombies and a bit less on the fucking stupid story that I'm telling. Oh. Didn't scare me as bad as, as it usually would because I feel I feel pretty invincible. Lights. Lights. Lights, camera, action. I kinda like this room. Kinda like all the rooms. I don't know why I would want a, a second story room. That doesn't make much sense, does it? Kinda like this one near the poo. The one near the poo is pretty cool. But it sounds like there's a zombie inside. Anybody? Fuck, it's so dark. Screw that. I'll come back when there's light. Housekeeping! I think this is the room I slept in before. But, uh, whatever. That's fine. We don't need to be fucking picky princess. Ooh, I don't want to sleep in that room because I slept in it already. Well, guess what? We're probably gonna have a rotation of this shit gonna end up sleeping in all the rooms at least once. Unless you like couch surfing or something like that. 
But even then, couch surfers, you probably sleep in the same house more than once, don't ya? Don't ya? Talking to my buddy Nate, he's a hobo. <laughs> he couch surfs a lot. Alright, just a few more uh, planks. We could barricade this rat out. Probably shouldn't barricade it all the way, because it could be like an escape route. Is there a room in the bathroom? No. No, there's not. So I guess it was stupid to barricade this, wasn't it? I take it all back. I don't know why I did this. There we go. Alright. Now, I'll barricade the, uh, the room that is actually accessible from the balcony outside my door. That's, that's smart. That's thinking with portals, isn't it? Ugh. I want to use this uh, other one as like an escape should I need it. There's a lot of planks. Just stuff them in the closet. What are all these planks doing in the closet? Don't ask questions, bro. Don't ask questions you're not ready to hear the answer to. I could just be Frank. Franks and beans! And I left all the fucking um, can openers. Should have really brought a can opener. Oh well, hindsight's twenty twenty, I suppose. Hmm. We made a little bit of room in this bigger bag. Not much room in the smaller bag. I guess it's because of all the whiskey bottles. So, um, make some Molotovs. Make make like seven Molotovs. That would make me really happy. But I don't even have a lighter. What the fuck? Ugh. Dayton, Dayton, you gotta, you gotta start thinking with your brain, okay? I know it's hard. I know it's so hard. Pour whiskey on the ground. Do I need? What the fuck? What the fuck? All right, just uh, we'll make one sheet rope. I'm gonna need this, and then I'll rip some sheets because I'm probably gonna need that. Oh, and then you can make a bindle. Dude, didn't you ever want a hobo bindle? You could, like sling it over your shoulders and have nothing in there but a fucking can of beans because it's just basically a sheep sheet on a stick. <sighs> That's stupid. Um, yeah, rip some clothes up. Why not? That's not clothes. That's a sheet. But okay. There, make molotovs. Why did I think I could make molotovs with socks? Was that a thing before? I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Probably. Here. I'll shove all these things away. Oh, we gotta make some room. Look at these pillows. Fucking heavy as shit. I'm gonna go throw these outside on the ground. What you need four pillows for? Don't even need one pillow. Use your arm as a pillow. This is hard living, okay? Oh my god, these Molotovs weigh 1.5 each? That's, that's crazy. It's crazy. Can I fit them in the other one? Guess so. <laughs> the one that I just filled up with pillows. Now I lay each Molotov down. Seven Molotov cocktails on, e on, on eight pillows. And I tuck them in ever so carefully. Let's open this window up and see if we can't get the sheet rope hanging out. Um, open the curtains. Hello world. How are you, world? Hmm, I think I also need one nail. Unpack. Oh, I just meant to unpack one, but I guess do whatever the fuck you want. That's fine. Hmm. I don't seem able to do it. How did I do it the last time? I've lost my touch. Ladies and gentlemen, I've lost my touch. Lost my mind. Whatever. Think I even need that shit? I don't. I don't. I'll throw it on the ground. And probably I'll be thinking about it all night. Like, how... How did I... Remember once upon a time? And that fucking banging is gonna drive me crazy. Hmm. Should probably go take care of it. 
take care of it sooner than later. Before it takes care of us. You know how that goes? Gotta close this window too. I don't think the zombies can climb up. But I'd hate to find out. It sounds like he's in this room. Are you? Are you around here somewhere? You can tell me. I won't hurt you. Maybe it's downstairs. Maybe it's just a telltale heart or something like that. It's the heart of all the zombies that I killed. Oh hey, it's you. There you go, fucktard. Sleep forever. Go into the water. Alright. It's about midnight. It's about time to get some sleepy sleep. But I thank you for joining me on this adventure in Riverside, friends. Much more to explore, much more to do. Uh, I'm sure some residences are here as well, but, um, I don't know. I don't know. I really am more interested in, like, the businesses and the spas and whatnot, because those are a bit more interesting to dig through. But, uh, we'll get what we get in the next episode. I hope that you'll join me for it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. It always helps the channel to get out there which is super awesome, we're growing super big, we got them full big digits, and I want to make it like 5, or 6, or 20. 20? How many is that? I don't know. I don't even know. I just, I'm just aiming for the stars here. Anyways, <laughs> once again, this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I will see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends